Thank you so much, Nat. Healthy eating guru Ella Mills of Deliciously Ella wants you to swap the additives for avocados and clean up your eating. She joins us today right now with some delicious recipe ideas and tips on how to encourage your family and friends to eat healthy as well because that is very important. Good morning, Ella. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This smells so good. I, I want to, right? I walked in the studio and went, come on, I breakfast. Know. It's like that dream breakfast scenario. So amazing. So why, why did you jump on the, the healthy eating uh, train? Because this is very personal for you. Yeah, really personal. Long story, which I'll keep short for you, but I got very unwell with something that affected my autonomic nervous system. And I'd never been into healthy eating before. I was much more like a Haribo, candy, yeah. Ben and Jerry's kind of girl. Mm -hmm. And But I was became interested when the medication wasn't working very well for me. I became interested in what else I could do to help myself. And I was very inspired about diet and lifestyle changes, but I couldn't cook. And I thought healthy food was so boring and just had those preconceptions that it was just going to be rabbit food and cucumber and lettuce and that was it forever. But it's so easy. But it's not at all, right? which we'll, we'll see. And so I started learning to cook and discovered this whole world of flavor, which I wanted to share oh, with everyone. This is amazing. Okay, let's start over here okay, because it's so something that most people think they know how to do. Is it chili? Right, so we're going to do a bean stew. It's mm -hmm. three bean stew. It's super easy. And you start by just heating up some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Now the difference between a bean stew and a chili, like what, what, is it a it's consistency not, thing? Yeah, and it's not so spicy this. Gotcha. Um, okay, let's get, let's see if we okay. can work this. Okay. There we go. And I can okay. be your sous chef. Should Amazing. I switch? Amazing, yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch, switch, switch okay, over perfect. here for you So let's go, start with onion and celery. Onion and celery, and the whole thing? Whole thing, check it in. Okay, and we want fresh, right? Fresh we want is fresh. Key. Yeah. It's about celebrating fresh ingredients. You got it. Okay, so we're going to give that a stir, and we're going to mm -hmm. cheat because we don't really have time for this to cook. That's but good. you'd want to cook it for a couple of minutes until the celery starts to go translucent. It's bubbling away. You got it. Then you're going to add your garlic, garlic and your chili. Garlic and chili. And, and just a little bit. You don't want it too hot? Uh, I guess well, it can... really depends on your taste buds. I kind of like quite a lot, but okay. that's a personal preference, I which is too. what is so important to do. And then we would add our bell pepper, the mm -hmm. red bell pepper. Yep. So a nice Slowly. bit of fresh veg in there. Now, and then the tinned tomatoes. Tinned tomatoes. Canned tomatoes, I, I think said to say tomatoes. Sorry, Sorry, I said tomatoes. I <laughs> because you're rubbing off on me. I, I know, love a British early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And okay. some of the beans. And, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> and then after that, yeah, we'd add our tomato mm. um, the paste. paste. Yeah, yeah which just gives it. it like a nice concentrated flavor. Okay. Salt and pepper, which I think be mm. generous with. The really? Okay, not just a sprinkle. So, or... Here we go. And then we would Here add we our beans as well and let it simmer. Okay. And it would end up looking like, like this. this. So this is cooked for about 45 minutes. And that's easy. And on, on low, is a simmer? Or? Yeah, so you simmer. Get it hot when it's bubbling with the ingredients at the beginning. So yes. it simmer down. And then we go down to this. And it's so simple. Serve it with a mango salsa, which has cilantro, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, a bit of olive oil, bell pepper, jalapeno, and no, which adds sad. a nice bit of sweetness. And then a bit of rice if you want. I don't know if you want to try it. But if you it. don't want to do the carb option, this is, I mean, this will fill you up with all of the Yeah, and the it's bean, also right? the dream is also it's a one-pot meal. Yes. So you, or you can make double the portion, freeze it. Um, it's a dream. And then we have another few other little things here. This looks delicious. And one of the things we were talking about earlier, Ella, is when something looks good, you want to eat it. And 100%. often when people say, you know, it's healthy, they think, oh, it's oh, not going to be I so know. much. And that was exactly yeah. what I thought. And I think it's so important to show people it's beautiful. And also it's like hearty and filling. And talk about the spices. So this is roasted with turmeric and cayenne pepper. And we've got a butter bean and sun-dried tomato hummus and chili garlic quinoa. That's cauliflower. Cauliflower yeah, steaks. Yeah, exactly. Lovely. So like roasted, so it's quite hearty. And same in the sesame falafels we've got here. So those are with turmeric, cumin, paprika, cayenne pepper, sesame seeds, sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes are base in this. Exactly, and okay. that kind of keeps it together, but it also, and then they're baked rather than fried, but just a mix of spices gives it such a delicious flavor. So to get that, do you, do you have to blend it? How? Yeah, so you blitz it all down in a food processor. Okay. And then chuck it together, coat it in the sesame seeds and bake it. Beautiful. And then our last thing <laughs> is a peanut butter cake, which Come is what on. everyone needs for breakfast, right? Yes. Because you still got to have a bit of sweetness in your life and then with fresh raspberries. So what makes this one healthy, the cake itself? Because that's always my guilty pleasure. I add the sugar and the flour well, and Well, so all it's that. made, so the main flours are, it's ground almonds and oats. Okay. Um, which are the two things. And then we use some medjool dates to sweeten it. Oh. 
Um, oh. And then obviously all the raspberries and the peanut butter as Which well. Which is just you can't feel so guilty about that one. it's got a nice mix one. of flavors. Okay, there are, there's not enough time to get through all of these recipes and there's so much more as well as tips on get, getting your loved ones into the healthy life right. too. You're going to be at uh, the Indigo at Sherway Gardens tonight. Yes, exactly. It's 7 o'clock doing a Q&A and a book signing. Lovely. And more information all on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. You can eat healthy and deliciously tonight. We're taking a break here. You're watching BT. Thank you, Ella. My pleasure. Nice to meet you.